wanted to start looking at diversifying uh, our electrical portfolio. That's how we, we started to working down the solar path. Every year we seem to find a little utility through our annual survey and the village of Minster just happened to be the utility that we found in 2016. They deployed a 4.2 megawatt solar project with a battery that's 7 megawatts. They're the very first municipality to deploy a solar plus storage project of that size. We actually worked with, with uh, the Smart Electric Power Alliance uh, to, to help us do surveys to find out if there was interest in community solar. Uh, and there, there was. As we, we started looking at those options, uh, we also started talking with, with businesses about the possibility of participating in community solar. And that's where, where our conversations with Dan and started. They were getting ready to build a 280,000 square foot uh, distribution facility here in Minster. And as we were talking with them, they, they thought of the idea, wouldn't it be great if they could uh, electrify that, that distribution center with green renewable energy? And could they partner with the village of Minster and put in another solar field? So that's how we kind of got from, from community solar to Dannon. Dannon has been interested in working with the village of Minster on solar energy. This is Dannon's largest facility in North America. Every year we are consuming 58 million kilowatt hours. We're excited about the opportunities to look at the portfolio of the energy that we're consuming. Power stability and power supply are very important to us in the food industry. We've been able to avoid going out into the open market to buy high-priced power when we reach those peaks by being able to utilize the energy storage system to peak shape. When there's going to be a coincident peak, the asset's notified and the battery is actually pulled out of the market, the battery can then be used to offset the coincident peak for the village of Minster. There is uh, seven megawatts uh, and three megawatt hours of energy storage, lithium ion batteries, that we utilize for energy storage. It helps us integrate the solar into our electrical system. It's, it's a behind the meter resource, uh, which uh, is you know, tied on our own system, so we don't have to pay transmission costs, and we also get capacity savings by having, having the solar field here as well. We've seen about $150,000 in savings on transmission and capacity costs from the solar field plus the energy storage system. As a community, we're real happy that we're doing this, and I, I think it, you know, we're real proud of it. I mean, there's other communities into solar and all that, but, but with the batteries and all that, we're, we're kind of, we like to feel we're ahead of the game. To create our own microgrid, to be able to sustain the village of Minster if we have a power outage from the incoming feed that comes into the village of Minster. We want to be able to tell our customers that we're able to keep your power on.